Okay, this is CBSC and CRE solutions, chapter 4, quadratic equations, exercise 4.1 and question number 1. And we, the question is check whether the following are quadratic equations. We are going to cover here a bunch of problems. The very first problem is x plus 1 whole square equal to 2 times x minus 3. Now I can open this term, it's equal to x square plus 1 plus 2x and the right hand side is equal to 2x minus 6. I have opened this x plus 1 whole square equal to x square plus 1 plus 2x because you would have covered in your previous classes that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. So I, I can cancel this 2x and take 2x from uh, both the sides because one is on the left hand side and the other is on the right hand side. So the equation we have is x square plus 1. I can take this minus 6 to the left hand side. It becomes plus 6 equal to 0. And I have here x square plus 7 equal to 0. Now the question is that is this a quadratic equation or not? So I say yes, it is a quadratic equation because the degree of this equation is equal to 2. By degree we mean the highest power of x. The highest power of x in the equation is 2. The, the degree is 2. It means the quadratic equation. So the answer is yes. And you should remember guys that degree cannot be negative. For example, if the equation is something like that, you cannot say that degree is equal to minus 2. The degree cannot be negative and it, it cannot be in fraction. It has to be an integer, positive integer. Now coming to the second question we have, it is x square minus 2x equal to minus 2 times 3 minus x here. So I can write the right left hand side as it is and the right hand side becomes minus 6 plus 2x here. Now I can adjust the terms. I can bring these term to, uh, terms to the left hand side. 2x to the left hand side here and plus 6 again to the left hand side and it becomes equal to 0 and it's x square minus 4x plus 6 equal to 0. Now the question is that is this a quadratic equation? So I say yes this is a quadratic equation because again the degree of this equation is equal to 2 because the highest power of x is equal to 2 and 2 here is positive degree is 2 therefore yes it is quadratic equation. Now coming to the third problem, we have here x minus 2 times x minus x plus 1 equal to x minus 1 times x plus 3 here. Now I will have to multiply these two terms, x times x is x square x times 1 is plus x minus 2 times x is minus 2x minus 2 equal to x square plus 3x minus x minus 3 here. Now you can adjust the term to x square and x square gets cancelled because they are on opposite sides. So now I can left hand side becomes equal to minus x minus 2 and right hand side is 4x uh, sorry 2x minus 3 here. Now I can bring these terms to the right hand side. They become 2x plus x minus 3 plus 2 equal to 0 here. So the final equation here is 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. The question is this a quadratic equation? So the answer is no, it is not a quadratic equation because the degree of x in this equation is equal to 1 here. So it's not a quadratic equation but it is a linear equation because the degree is equal to 1. So no, the answer is no, it is not a quadratic equation. Now coming to the fourth problem we have. Problem is x minus 3 times 2x plus 1 equal to x times x plus 5. Now I will multiply this x with 2x. 2x square x with 1 plus x minus 6x. So you can just solve it. And the right hand side becomes equal to x square plus 5x here. So the left hand side is equal to 2x square minus 5x minus 3 is equal to x square plus 5x here. So now I can take these 
uh, terms to the left hand side 2x square minus x square minus 5x minus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0 here so it, the, the whole thing becomes x square minus 10x minus 3 equal to 0 now is this a quadratic equation I would say yes it is a quadratic equation because the degree of x in this equation is equal to 2 so that's why it's quadratic that's right degree here now coming to the fifth problem I have 2x minus 1 times x minus 3 equal to x plus 5 times x minus 1 here now solving the left hand side I will write 2x square minus 6x minus x plus 3 equal to x square minus x plus 5x minus 5 the left hand side becomes equal to 2x square minus 7x plus 3 and the right hand side is equal to x square plus 4x minus 5 here so I can take these two all these terms to the left hand side on 2x square minus x square minus 7x minus 4x plus 3 plus 5 equal to 0 so they become x square minus 11x plus 8 equal to 0 this is the final equation is this quadratic equation yes it is quadratic because the degree of x in this is equal to 2 by degree we mean highest power of x but degree cannot be negative it cannot be in fraction now coming to the sixth problem we have it is x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to x minus 2 whole square now I can write the left hand side as it is given now I can expand this term it's equal to x square plus 4 minus 4x this is because a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab you would have covered this in your previous classes and I can take all these terms to the to the left hand side so bringing this x square minus x square and it's plus 3x here I can bring this minus 4x to the left hand side and plus 1 as it is and minus 4 to the left hand side again so this x square and x square gets cancelled I get 7x minus 3 equal to 0 now is is this a quadratic equation the answer would be no this is not a quadratic equation because the degree of x here is equal to 1 not equal to 2 therefore it's not quadratic but it is a linear equation now coming to the problem number 7 it is x plus 2 x plus 2 whole cube equal to 2x times x square minus 1 now the left hand, left hand side becomes equal to x cube plus 2 cube plus 3 times x times 2 times x plus 2 equal to and the right hand side is equal to 2x cube minus 2x This is because I, because you would have covered in your previous classes that a plus b cube is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3 times a times b times a plus b. This is the formula for a plus b whole cube. So similarly this thing now becomes equal to x cube plus 8 plus 6x times x plus 2 equal to 2x cube minus 2x which is equal to x cubed plus 8 plus 6x squared plus 12x equal to 2x cubed minus 2x now I can adjust the terms I can take all these terms to the right hand side they become 2x cubed minus x cubed and minus 6x squared minus 2x minus 12x minus 8 equal to 0 now the final equation that I have here is something like that 2x cube minus x cube is just x cube 
x cubed minus 6 x squared minus 14 x minus 8 equal to 0 here that's the final question that so the question is is this quadratic answer is no this is not quadratic because the degree of x in this equation is equal to 3 not equal to 2 that's why it's not quadratic now coming to the final problem that's problem number 8 which x cubed minus 4x square minus x plus 1 equal to it's minus 2 cube here now the left hand side is equal to x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 equal to this this thing becomes equal to x cube minus 2 cube minus 3 times x times 2 times x minus 2 this is because a minus b cube is equal to a cube minus b cube it's b minus 3 times a times b times a minus b this is a formula for a minus b whole cube now this thing becomes equal to x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 equal to x cube minus 8 2 cube is 8 minus 6x times x minus 2 now the final equation I can cancel this x cube and x cube final equation is something like 4x square minus x plus 1 equal to minus 8 minus 6x square plus 12x so I can take all the terms to the to the left hand side let's take to the left hand side so they become 2x square because minus 6x square if I take this minus x square to the left hand side, it becomes 2x square. And this minus x and 12x become minus 13x. And 1 and this minus 8 becomes plus 9 equal to 0. Now the question is, is this quadratic equation? Answer is yes, it is quadratic equation because the degree of x in this equation is equal to 2. So that's, that's it about question number 1. For exercise one, except for exercise four point one, question number one in chapter quadratic questions. Okay, see you guys for the next question.